Hey, what's going on guys? Tanmay for Telisco Learnings. And this is sort of like the part 2 of the objects in JavaScript video. So in the previous video of this JavaScript playlist, we took a basic introduction to objects in JavaScript and we saw the two different ways in which you can create objects, what are objects and why we need objects. And we also saw a little bit of variations of how objects are a little bit different in JavaScript. But then we wrapped it up in the middle because I thought it was going too much in that video. So this is sort of like the part 2 and an impromptu video wherein I have not really planned a lot. But then I want to continue more on objects and talk a little bit more about them. So this was the code that we wrote for objects in JavaScript in the previous video wherein we declared or created a car object which had three properties car brand, car model and price and one method inside the object that is the autopilot function. And then when we use the method with the dot operator with the car that is the object car you can see that we are getting the output of this car has autopilot. Okay, So this was something that we did in the previous video also. So talking about objects in JavaScript, pretty much a lot of things in JavaScript are actually objects. So Boolean values can also be object if they are declared with new keyword. So we know in JavaScript we have basic data types, right? So we have Boolean, we have numbers, we have strings. So these are three basic data types. We have undefined and null also. But then these three basic data types can also be converted or they also have their equivalent object forms if they are defined with new keyword, okay? And then we have some predefined objects also. We have date objects, we have math object, we have regular expressions which are also considered objects in JavaScript. So a lot of things are objects in JavaScript. In fact, a lot of DOM manipulations that we are going to be doing in further videos, that is when we are going to be changing the HTML document. Say for example, you want to change the color of the paragraph tag, you want to increase the size, you want to perform certain animations and do a lot of DOM manipulations that is document object model manipulations. In that scenario also, we are going to be using objects to access different parts of the website. And hence it is kind of essential to understand the objects as a whole. So moving ahead, I just said that all the basic data types that is the boolean, the numbers and the strings can also be represented in their object form. So the way we do that is you can say where str1 is equal to new string. And now this is a variable which is an object of string data type. Okay. So if I say str1 dot, you can see the number of methods that are associated with this object now, right? So we know that we have methods in objects, we have properties in objects. So by default, this str1 is now an object and it gets all those methods also. And then there are different ways in which you can figure out whether a variable is an object or a basic data type. And to do that, we can use the type of operator, okay? So we have type of, and if I say str1, so it will give me the type of this str1. So what is this variable currently? It will return this value. So if I just print this in document dot write, so I'm just going to copy this and paste it over here. I'm going to comment this and I'm going to cut this out and I'm just going to put it inside the document dot write thing. And there you go. You can see this is an object now. It's very small. Let me just put it in h2 tags. So there you can see this is an object now. So this is how you basically create an object by using the new keyword and then this string has to have a capital S. So that is how you differentiate between an object and a basic variable. So instead of this, if I just replace it with a string, let's say it is str, immediately you can see in the output we are getting it as a string. So now it is not an object. This variable str is having a data type of string, which is a primitive data type. Earlier it was an object because we used the new keyword and we created a new string object. So that's why it was returning an object. So using the type of operator or type of function, you can see you can find out whether a variable is an object type or a normal primitive type. Okay, so coming back to our car object. So what if after you declare this entire object, you define its properties and you define its methods, you realize that you have missed out on a particular property and you want to add it further in your code somewhere down. So let's say you have 100 lines of code in between. So you have 100 lines of code. in between and after that you realize okay your car object needs to have one more property which is the fuel type whether it is on electric or whether it is petrol or whether it is diesel. So you can do that outside the object definition also in javascript so you can see car dot fuel type and you can say it is electric and what this line will do is it will add one more property inside this existing car object that you have created because you're using this same name, right? So this is one object having three properties over here, but here we've added one more property and you can test this or you can check this out by printing this. So if I just 
you want to check it out i can see car dot fuel type and print it over here and there you go you can see in the output we are getting electric so if i just comment this out you'll see we are getting an output of undefined because we don't have car dot fuel type as a property so right now we don't have any fuel type as a property over here because we just commented this if i uncomment it you can see we are getting electric so you can add on more properties and methods even after you actually define your object later so later in the code you can do it anywhere so this is one more thing which can be done with objects now let's say you want to delete a particular property okay so you realize you don't need the price of this car object anymore so you can use this delete keyword i can say delete and i can say car dot price hit semicolon and this will delete this price attribute of the car object so to test it if i just copy this and if i try to paste it over here you can see we are getting undefined because we deleted this car property at this line so if i comment this out you'll get the price if i uncomment it you'll get undefined because there is no property which is named price after this line after 19th line right so this is one more thing that you can do in objects so one more thing that you can do with objects because javascript is a loosely typed programming language you can change the data type of these properties on the fly also so let me just comment this out so right now we have price as a number type but you want to have price as a string type so what you can do is you can say car dot price equal to and then you can store a string also okay so even then we are getting the output you can change the output over here you'll see you can get another value the updated value and if you want to check out the data type of this price property you can wrap this inside type of that we just saw so now the type of has become string right so we've changed the data type of price attribute earlier it was a number but now it is a string so if i comment this out you can see we are getting number because here it is a number if i uncomment this it becomes a string so all these things can be dynamically done in the program wherever you want at the end at the start inside the actual definition and a lot of things are dynamic in nature when it comes to objects in javascript so this is just something that i wanted to talk about in objects and yeah this was an impromptu video this was not planned up i just wanted to talk a little bit more on objects so that's why this video and yeah that's it for this video guys if you like this video please give it a thumbs up do share it with your friends let me know in the comments how this video was and thanks for watching see you guys in the next video wherein we'll start off with a little bit of dom manipulations and understand what dom manipulations are practically so thanks for watching see you guys in the next video peace